We're here at the factory with my friend Maurice, and uh, Maurice, we've known each other about 10 years, you think? Yep. Yeah, and we've painted surfboards together, and um, you know, this is his place, so why don't you tell me a little bit about the factory here? Uh, the factory basically is just a big surf shop, it's kind of like geared more industrial type, you know, a little bit more core than, than the usual shop. Uh, right. We have a glass shop right next door, we sell blanks. Um, and we have probably about 120 used boards, maybe about 180 new boards. Wow. Maurice and I have made a living painting surfboards. And it's really neat to see all the different boards that they have here. And what we're going to do is kind of the ghetto style painting, which is like spray paint and spraying through things and stencils. And they have a lot of good examples here. All right, so we have a board here that Maurice did that's a perfect example of like what we want to show people today. Explain to the people like how you did this. Basically, we just have like a plain, regular pill board that we wanted to put some color on. Uh, I drew this stencil onto, you can do it on cardboard, you can do it on a piece of like acetate or plastic or whatever. And uh, basically, you can razor blade it all out. Uh, they also have a, a, a stencil burner, which is kind of like a little hot iron. You can use to trace through the plastic. If you use plastic, it'll cut it up. It's really easy. And then after that, basically, I taped the board off for my pin lines. And after I pulled the tape, I, uh, I did a little one-eighth gap, and then I was ready to basically do my stencils. And so what I do for that is I just kind of start in one spot, you know, maybe like here or something like that, and I spray around it. And then after that, I just keep kind of moving it and building on it, making sure that I don't overlap, though, the first skull so that, you know, later you're going to have, like, depth, basically, you know, so they look yeah. like they're kind of on top of each other. Right. So I went through and did that all throughout the board. After I did that, I took a little bit of transparent pink and I spray right over the black. Basically, wherever it's white, it turns the color that you're spraying. When it's black, it stays black. That's kind of a rad little thing that yeah. we use, you know? Helps save stages. You could have sprayed the pink first if you wanted to, mm -hmm. you know, and done the black on top. Then mm. after that, I, I used basically this little tree branch that I found outside and I just lay it down and just spray right through it and kind of move it along you know the design and just give it that little flared kind of look. We're going to show you how to just kind of get a couple cans of spray paint, make some stencils and make something cool and quick on your board and uh, thanks Maurice this was yeah, cool. Yeah you're welcome, right thank you. All right. I drew some ideas out on cardboard now I'm going to show you how to cut them out. Basically what you want to do is start from one of the points or somewhere and try to cut nice and even. It's real important because you want to use both sides. I want to be able to use this part as a stencil and then the opposite part as a stencil. So I want to make sure each part's cut out pretty good. When we're airbrushing boards on the foam, we're basically cutting designs like this out in tape. But when we do these stencil jobs, we can just do this kind of stuff really quick on a piece of cardboard and spray through it. It's not as clean of a finish, but it has its own look, which is kind of cool. So we got that piece, and then we have this piece. This one's a lot more complicated. Now, I drew this really quick and kind of rough, and there's two different ways that I could do this. I could do it just as one piece, and um, uh, but I kind of want to save it as two pieces. So what I need to make sure is all these little things connect. You know, being able to use a razor blade and cut things is a whole art in itself. So. If you're having difficulty with it, don't worry. It's taken me a long time to be able to do this. And some guys are really good at it. You know, you can notice here I'm using like a regular razor blade to cut this. And um, some people like to use an X-Acto knife, which is great. That works. And then there's also stencil cutters, you know, that do it. But, um, you know, I'm used to working with a razor blade. And um, this works really good for me. I know how to really make it work. But um, whatever you use to cut it will be fine as long as you get the job done. Uh, this is just what works best for me. All right, so I got this all cut out. And let's uh, pull it apart and see how it looks. 
So there's the skull there, and here's the skull here. All right, so we got this brand new board here. And like I said, this is going to be more intricate of a design, you know, using stencils and stuff. So we already cut out the stencils, and now I'm going to do another step that uh, you might want to try. Using tape, I want you to tape off a rail line. Now this is just another little cleaner way to do it. So, uh, you know, if you're up for it, give this a try. All right, so we have our yellow paint, and uh, we're going to give that a crack. All right, so it's pretty cool. Let's get another color. I just want to get the red right on the edge. It's coming together. It looks cool already. We hadn't even used a stencil yet. So I'm going to use this flame tent uh, stencil and just kind of flame it up going into there and uh, see what we get. You know, you can really have fun with this too. You know, this isn't like brain surgery. That, that looks pretty sick, huh? I'm gonna bring out my old trusty chain again. And I kinda wanna make it look like this thing's like chained up. Yeah, I like that. got nice colors, it's nice and alive, and uh, yeah, so let's peel it up. So this board's all done, and it didn't even take us that long to do it. You know, we had to cut out a couple stencils, three cans of spray paint, and you know, we just went for it with no plan, and it came out awesome. Have fun with this. Do something really rad, and uh, don't be scared. Just throw some paint on it, and uh, Go surf, catch some waves.